Hey everybody. No one's on yet. Actually, we have we have one person on. Who do we have on? Uh, so zero on mine. Really? Mine says one person. That's because you're on. No, I'm on our channel, so it shouldn't be. Okay. Is someone on? <laughs> I'm up close and you're way back. You're leaning forward. It's because I was hoping to see some. Hey guys, sorry, we're trying to get. Here, we'll pull this forward. Set here. That's better. All right, welcome guys. We are exhausted. <laughs> yep. I am at least. It's been busy lately. Mm. Vicky's gonna see. watch for comments on her phone, but let us know where you're joining us from. And reviews in Arabic says, Hey guys, first one here. Yay. Tina Reese says hello from Canada. Oh, Eddie Family Farms on. That's oh, sweet. awesome. That's great. Hey, go check yeah, out their channel. We, we love, love those guys. They are amazing. They're a great family. Eddie Family Farm. We met them back when we Ooh, were. Lots of people get them now. Back when we were in Oklahoma. So. Yeah, man, it's jumped to... Ohio, Minnesota, Chicago, Arkansas, New York, Ohio, Georgia, New Jersey, Rhode Island, New York. Holy smokes. High Desert Homestead's on, too. Awesome. Go check out... That's something I wanted to tell people tonight. So, Moses, I'll tell, I'll tell them here in just a minute when we get more people on. But... Excited that you've jumped Oregon, on. Oregon. Claudia. Hola. Como están? Our friends in Albuquerque. Iowa. Manuel, como estas? How's the weather by you guys? It's actually a beautiful, beautiful night. It's, it is beautiful. But yeah. we've gotten some rain. And I have to tell you, I was in... Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm hitting the stand that the camera's on. Um, I was in our town near, next to us. And I came out of Walmart today. And by the time I walked 20 yards, it looked like I had taken a shower. I was drenched, like head to toe. Well, that cowboy... Most people were smart and waiting to go out of Walmart, but I had to get home. What did Moses say? It's about to storm out there. Oh, good. Have you got some good rain out there, Moses? We're finally getting some good rains here. I was out on the reservation today, and it was beautiful. Um, but there was actually quite a bit of flooding some flash flooding had taken sand and dirt and fences all over the place. It was kind of scary, but anyway. Oh, Lou Wood's on. Um, Lou Wood, I drove past Stony Park today and noticed a ton of flooding there. I hope your place is okay. So that's the problem in Arizona. We go without rain most of the time, and then when it comes, we get lots of flash flooding, and especially in Flagstaff where they'd had some serious forest fires that had burned a lot of the vegetation, and so it just wasn't, it's not uh, holding the moisture, or all the dirt's not being held down by uh, vegetation, so it's going everywhere. It's kind of kind of scary. Hey, S Stephanie, um, that's at Eddie Family Farm. I actually just made you a, um, moderator, I hope that's okay. I just made that change. Oh, cool. Is she gonna help? How does that work? Like, could um, well, she can go in, like, if she wanted to now. She, I would love it if she added her site to her YouTube channel so that people can see how to get to High Desert Homestead and Eddie Family Farm. So. That's awesome. Well, guys, we entitled it tonight, We Are Alive, or something like that. Because maybe you wondered. We haven't had videos up as much this week as we normally do. No. T tell them why. So, what was that about? Because <laughs> it's bad on my part. <laughs> it's not bad on yeah, your part. You're is. being a good mom. No, you for you've already forgiven me. I totally deleted a whole video. Oh, I wasn't even thinking that. I was thinking about, <laughs> I was thinking about Blake's uh, football camp. So that's really so done this. Blake issue. had actually done a really nice video for you guys, and we had taken, you can tell them what we did because no one's gonna know. Because well, <laughs> I deleted it on accident. Alan's like, I know how you get out of working. <laughs> well, Blake um, 
and Casey went over, right? Didn't Casey go with them? Yeah, it was Blake and so Casey. So Blake and Casey took Chipper over to Taylor, Arizona to have her flushed out with an antibiotic in her uterus so that she is ready to hopefully um, be exposed to Gold 66. And we were excited about the video and Vicky accidentally deleted all of it, but that's okay. Yeah, I pushed the wrong button. So, so. we'll... Uh, We'll tell about that as we expose her to 66 and yeah. hopefully she's ready to go, so. Um, White River, Arizona, Ogden, Utah. They said in Oklahoma they're needing rain really bad, which blows me away because you guys were so green. But Walker but, Farm Fam has said the same thing, that they're, you guys are in really bad need. It's kind of scary over in Oklahoma right now, the drought they're having, the heat wave they're having. And then a lot of those homestead channels are talking about some <laughs> bu bugs that are just tearing up their gardens. My desert homestead says it, it happens. They've done it. <laughs> Good. Well, so. while uh, Moses said that, um, if you have watched our channel for long enough, you know about a rescue horse we got named Pearl and that Moses actually owns her now. And I saw that he put up a video this week about uh, working with um, with Pearl. So if you're anxious to go see how Pearl's doing, go That's over cool. to High Desert Homestead and check out that video. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, subscribe and let them know that the farm sent you. So That's crazy. They said they have cracks in the ground about an inch. That, really that happens in Arizona all the time. Yeah. Right? In Oklahoma, in Oklahoma where it's it <laughs> supposed to be wet all the time. That's crazy. So. Well, Alan and Terry Bushman are on. We love you guys. That's so cool. <laughs> it's kind of, it, I don't know, it's still kind of crazy when we... Hey, Ty. No, all of you are our friends, but when we have friends that we've had forever that all of a sudden hop on or say, hey, I watched your video, it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it's like, like oh my gosh, are you serious? So <laughs> but, but you guys are all so kind to I, watch us. Yeah, it's just... So still fascinating to me that anyone watches us but um ty said i thought you guys do lives on the weekend we normally do do <laughs> lives on the weekend but we thought we might want to tell everyone that we're still alive because we haven't posted anything on our channel all week but think, we have a video coming out tomorrow yeah um it, it's a good video I've, i watched it after vicky edited it and as always, she does a great job. Kind. But she hasn't had time to do anything on her channel either. But go back and watch some of her other <laughs> yeah. old videos just to go, make her go feel watch good. watch more, <laughs> more cooking videos just for fun. Hey, and try some <laughs> of try her it. Follow recipes. Along. This Tell week's them what your channel name is in case they haven't watched. Quick and Tasty on the Farm. So that's my channel. Um, this week's been really busy and fun. Blake started football camp this week. And last year, I told Coach, I said, I will do all your food for you for football camp if you'll run a camp for these boys. And it was an awesome camp, so I made the same deal this year. I've enlisted more parents this year, and it's been really nice. I've had some really good help. That some have totally taken over meals for me, but I've still been down she at says the that, high but she's school still doing like lots of a meals, lot. But... So. But I've been a beneficiary. I've eaten really good too because <laughs> she made her so, green chili lime. Is chicken that, enchiladas. Yeah, those were amazing. And, so, yeah. So. Awesome. Someone just subscribed to Moses' channel. Go. Thank you for uh, Eddie Family put put up oh, that thank link. You. So thank you. That's awesome. But let's see Did if you we put get, your link up too? Yeah, make sure Eddie Family Farms links yeah, up there also. Yeah, please put your link up there. Normally, Walker Farm Fam hops on too. Can you have two moderators? Yeah, you can, have, a, you can have several moderators. Oh, cool. Which is nice. Well, any questions for us? Um, like, say, we missed Blake's video um, of taking Chipper, but we, we will uh, we'll start exposing Chipper to Gold Sixty Six soon. Thanks, Ty. And uh, anyway, that process, I'll just start leading her over to Gold Sixty Six and teasing. Her or him I don't know how that goes anyway to see which one or to see when she's in, in heat and so we won't show that whole process but that's kind of my next step with with her what else would you like to see if there's something you'd um, like to see let us know yeah or questions so Jaron says how is Eho 
Eho is awesome. The last time we had a chance to ride him, he did great. We have been, this summer has been absolutely nuts. And now our kids start school next week. Um, yeah, next Wednesday. I think we've spent more nights away, from, away from our home than we have in our home this summer. So I'm actually excited with school getting back in. We can get in a routine. But then on the other hand, I'm sad. It's Blake's senior year, Casey's freshman mm -hmm. year. Can you believe he's a senior? And life's just going too fast. So anyway. And um, what are your plans for the future? Future as in next month? Future as in for the farm? Future as in our life in 10 years? Future as in what? <laughs> Give me a more detailed question. Someone just asked, what's our advice with restarting a horse? Um, that hasn't been ridden in the air. I would just start them as if they've never been started again uh, before. And that may sound weird, but I remember playing basketball um, through high school and junior high, and Vicky played on the varsity team as a freshman. Um, so, mm -hmm. but what do you do the first practice back? You start with layups again. And I think you just do the basics. Now you don't have to spend as much time as you did in the beginning, but <coughs> why not start, start from the beginning, just rehearse the, the basics. Someone said we should do a fishing video from Clear Creek. They must think that I'm a fisherman. I'm not very good Blake's at that. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So <laughs> that would be fun. Um. So, any new horse horses rescued lately? Um. You know, we found a new home for our last last of the six that we got together, and the two older ones went to. My brother, I'm so excited. I talked to my brother today. He and his kids are loving Smokey and his friend that took um, Cheerio. Cheerio is loving Cheerio. Both of them um, were at a 24th of July celebration. That our church celebrates the 24th of July because that's when um, pioneers arrived in the Salt Lake Valley. And so anyway, there was a pioneer rodeo and both of those older horses, um, the kids rode around the rodeo and they just had an I awesome time. Yeah, really I just talked cool. to Blake or Levi today. That's cool. You call him Blake because Blake and Levi, Blake look, and a Levi like. look a lot a lot alike and act a lot alike. Sometimes he's even like, oh, what you just said is exactly Levi. <laughs> yeah. um, it would be fun to do a fishing video. We could try it. So Tim Barn Farm get on. Oh, sweet. Tim Barn Farm is on. Um, puppies. No new puppies right now. I agree that's way too early to start, start school, Ty. Life Hello with Michelle. She, she responds to so many of our videos. She does. I She's, wish I knew who you were, Michelle. I've done. <laughs> I mean, we've awesome. commented I'm... with her and stuff, but sometimes it's like, man, we we feel like we know you, but we don't know you. And so... Thank you, Michelle. So, someone asked if our town has a grocery store or we travel to other cities to buy food. We have to travel a little bit, about 10, at least 10 minutes, maybe 20. So 10 miles or 20 miles to get to a grocery store. But oh, people happy that birthday, live in Rebecca. Where did I miss that? Who's someone named Rebecca is? Oh, Rebecca, touched by yarn. Good evening, everyone. It's my birthday today. Everyone tell Rebecca happy birthday. I'm glad I went back and found that. So some people that live in the city drive way more than 10 minutes to go two miles. So it's nice that living in the country, yeah. we don't have to go too far. But go, uh, Thank you, Tim Deborah. Barn Farm just got on and uh, th those are our dear friends. Go check out their channel. They're the ones that let us keep the older horses at their house while we went to a family reunion. It's raining in Kansas. Yay for rain. Vernon Rogers is on. Vernon's one of my old students and a dear friend. Pauline says, I love your updates and Blake with his talent of training horses. His manners are unbelievable for kids today. You know what? He, all our kids are amazing, amazing kids. We have two kids that are adults now with kids of their own. And I, I think we could announce that we're expecting two more grandbabies at the end of this Wait, year. you just talked about Blake being a no. really great kid, <laughs> and now we're expecting two grandbabies. That... <laughs> Vicki, no. you better explain yourself. <laughs> our two married kids, <laughs> Bryson is our oldest, 
and they have the little boy Cameron. Bryce and Shalea have a little boy Cameron. They are expecting in December, and Kaylee, our daughter that's married to Roy and has a little boy Peyton, is expecting in January. So we're super excited to double so, our grandbabies this year. So Blake, and Blake, Blake has a good nothing kid to and do with it. Blake is a, is a good kid. There was something... What did that one try to say? Anyway, it's hard to keep up with all these... Wow, they've had two inches of rain in the last 48 hours in, wow, that is in the crazy. White Mountains. That's a lot of rain for our area. So, the life with Michelle, she just said, I I feel the same way. I told my husband about you. I love your recipes, Miss Vicky. Hey, thank you so much. I love her recipes, too. That's I can blame being too fat on her recipes, <laughs> but it's really my lack of self-control. I need to do better. You're not. Um, actually, Stephanie, if you're still on, do you mind putting in the link a link to my channel? It's quick and tasty on the farm. If you don't mind, that would be awesome. It's getting a little dark out here. I mean, I hey, look better thanks, in the dark, but... They just said they're new, but think, uh, we have a lovely family, which that's really sweet. Thank you. Plus great filming. Alan films most of the time, or Blake. Yeah. I feel like we're, I'm looking down more now than up there because it's just easier to see. She's looking at her phone at the comments. It's easy wow. to see the comments. It is getting a little dark. What, do you have any questions for us? We, like Vicki said, we'll have a video up tomorrow morning. So we hope you'll get on and look at that. If you want to check out Penny, uh, go to Amory Palmer uh, to her channel and you check out Penny and how she's doing. They said our audio's in and out. I'm oh, sorry. Right. I don't... Some people We're outside, but Wi-Fi should be good. Well, I'm, Some I'm people have said that before, though, and then others say they hear, hear it great. So let us know. Are you hearing us okay or not? Thanks, Stephanie. Um, there's a link to my, my YouTube channel, Quick and Tasty on the Farm. Leslie has eight grandchildren. Tin Barn Farm says we sound we sound great. Oh, that's cool. So sorry, you never know on these lives. We just thought we'd go live so you knew that we were still alive, and then we'll have a video up tomorrow. And yeah, we just want to get on and say hi. Yep. <laughs> so loud and clear, brother. Oh, my brother Stephen is on. <laughs> Stephen, we love you guys. Yeah. It was do. his daughter Emily that um, went on that ride up in the White Mountains. So if you since we haven't had a video up for a while, go to our last video of Blake yeah, jumping a horse over the log. And trying to get Emily's horse to jump, but <laughs> Mama was too lazy. Yeah, she was lazy. She just stepped. Oh. Uh, Papa's Kitchen said they went out and came back in and the audio's good. Good. Papa's Kitchen's really good at getting on, too. Again, is there anything you would like us to do in an upcoming video? If you want to put that in the comments, we'll try to see if we can... Do one of your suggestions do you guys remember the video um where we took you and i think we called it like the most beautiful her herd of horses in the world <laughs> when we went to martin's quarter horses anyways we're taking you back to martin's quarter horses no soon. don't tell them when or i won't but i'm excited you gave that you. away really i'm just teasing <laughs> hey we only have it 89 likes and 108 of you Tim on. Tim Farm, we need to come see you. Okay. Thank you. A couple more of Ty you. Ty wants to know the knots you use to tie up your horses. <laughs> is that a joke, Ty? Because our horses always get you <laughs> loose. <laughs> that is funny. Take uh, a goat from milking into a recipe. Lasagna, maybe. Steven, do you want us to put the goat in the lasagna or the uh, goat milk? Goat we can, cheese. We can make goat cheese. <laughs> that would be awesome. Great idea. So did I ever tell you about the time? So people do eat goat. I don't eat goat. <laughs> but one time Alan wanted to try goat. So he got some goat. And I was, Alan's usually often busy with church callings on Sunday. But this Sunday, I happened to be the one that was really busy. And I came home, and 
a beautiful mill was made for our family. Alan had made it on the tape. It was beautiful. It was meatloaf. It was awesome. I was like, oh my gosh, he's my hero. Anyways, I sit down and I take a bite. It was goat meat. Meatloaf. And it tasted no, awesome. No, it did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Comment below if you've ever tried goat. Goat's yummy. High Desert Homestead. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't like it. Mutton lasagna. Goat cheese. Debbie, maybe go out and go back in. They said that worked on the volume. Actually, uh, my brother Andrew's Steven said to goat. do goat cheese, but you can go to my mom's channel, um, Sweet Grandma Adeline, and she actually made uh, goat cheese with Steven's kids. Yeah, and so that's that, really cute. Video. You can go watch their video instead of us doing that. Melissa, send me a vegan recipe. I wouldn't mind making a. <laughs> do no! I, do I have to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> Melissa likes vegan, and, and I'm sure. I'm just so giving you a hard time, Vicky, Melissa. That's what I recipe. would say. To... So how my channel works is if you guys send me a recipe, I try to make those recipes. So they've got to be quick. They've got to be tasty, like the best recipes you guys have. So you can email me at quick and tasty on the farm at Gmail, and I would be happy to try something. And Alan would be happy to eat it. So weird. Someone else just said our audio is not working, and yet others have said that it's working great. So I don't know what to tell you guys. But look up here, we're in the dark. I know. We probably. Someone said, "How's under. your handsome son?" Which one's our handsome son? I don't know which one. I think I think they're both uh, they handsome are both sons. Handsome, but they're probably talking about our young single, <laughs> Blake, just because he's on all the time. Blake is at football camp and loving life this week. So, in fact, I have some bread raising in there. I've got to go put in the oven because since I'm doing food for football camp, Blake let me know that at night, about 10 o'clock, they're all starved and they have to have something. So last night they got cold cereal, a bunch of cold cereal boxes. Tonight they're getting homemade bread. Awesome. Cindy Brown offered to be a moderator. Tonight we're, we've been oh, that's blessed awesome. to have Eddie Family Farm or Homestead doing it for us. But... Let's send it, hun. We're Thank in the dark. You, Cindy. I know I look better the darker it gets, but anyway, you want to end it with something? God bless. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I thought you'd have some words of wisdom or something. I'm tired. I'm going to go in, finish bread, deliver it to. Oh, we can tell them what Casey's doing right now, real quick. Okay, it's yeah. really dark. I know, so. Anyways, She's out Casey's back playing out with back a bunch of friends. Playing with a bunch of friends, having a. Party Should I starts. run them back there real quick just to show them that? Yeah. All right. I'll let Alan do that. So I'm going to say good night. You can go see all those crazy girls. They set up the dunk tooth and dunk <laughs> tooth dunk booth and set up the slip and slide. Okay, so, I'm going to run hey, you. Hey, good night, guys. Through the house real quick. Sorry, it's dark. So here we go. Let me see if I can turn this around. How do I turn it around? Here we go. So, there's a bunch of crazy girls. There's some of them. There's the dunk tank back there. They've been on the slip and slide. Can you guys all say hello? Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Have a good night. Subscribe.